Nick Myron here with Big Y Fly Company and today we're going to discuss a very effective way for catching steelhead and that's with using beads. Beads have become really popular really due to their effectiveness. <clears throat> these beads all they're meant to imitate is an egg floating through the water and these beads do a really good job at imitating that. For the most part these beads are neutral buoyant meaning they don't float nor do they sink so they'll stay in the water column where you want them to be. That's really one of the main reasons these are so effective. Another reason is these plastics that are, that are used are really translucent. The light shines through them and it really does a good job at imitating a natural egg floating through the water. So we'll go ahead and go over the two brands that we carry. First are the Great Lake Steelhead beads. Next are the trout beads. Trout beads are available in a modeled a blood dot modeled and a glow bead version. The glow bead obviously is a glow in the dark version. The modeled beads are intended to have a paint that runs throughout the plastic to imitate an egg that may have been in the river for a longer period of time. When those eggs are in the river for an extended period of time, they tend to get color milkiness that runs throughout them. And then the blood dot eggs, those simply have a dot painted on them, which is meant to imitate the embryo of the egg. We're going to discuss how we rig these beads up. Typically, what we're doing here is you're tying, threading your bead through your line and we're doing what's called pegging it above the hook. You'll note that this is pegged about one to two inches above the eye of the hook. What this is intended to do is to ensure that you have a solid hookup when that fish bites your bead. If that bead weren't to be pegged and it were just to slide up and down your line, what could very well happen is, is that that bead is drifting through the water and your bead slides away from the hook. If that fish eats that bead while that bead is away from the hook and you set the hook, you're very likely going to get a hook set that is not where you intended it to be. If you've got that bead pegged close to the hook, as soon as you set that hook, that hook's going to go into his mouth. Now if you were to peg that bead right next to the hook, what could very well happen is that this bead becomes entangled with the gap of your hook and actually prevents you from hooking that fish. So that's the reason for pegging these beads one to two inches above the eye of your hook. Now to peg these beads, we're going to use either trout beads pegs which work really well. They come in a variety of colors so you can match the color of your bead or the old-fashioned method using toothpicks. So now we're going to go into how we rig these beads up for fishing. I'm going to take this Rio Salmon Steelhead Tippet. This is in 12 pound. I'm going to take about two feet of it. And I'm going to take my hook. You've got several different options for hooks. One of my favorite hooks for using with these beads are trout bead hooks. These hooks have been extremely sturdy. I have yet to bend one of these hooks and they work really well in conjunction with these beads. So do note this is a size 2. I'm going to use a size 12 millimeter bead with these size 2 hooks. So if you're going to be using a smaller bead or a larger bead for that matter, your hook size is going to change depending on the size of your bead. So I've got my hook, I've got my tippet, I'm simply going to tie a standard improved clinch knot. Clip that tag end. So now we've got our hook tied to our tippet, we're going to go ahead and thread this bead on. This is a 12 millimeter trout beads blood dot cerise color. So you take your tag end of your tippet, thread it through the bead. Take that tag in and you're actually going to, go, going to go through it again. So you've essentially wrapped that bead with your tippet. You're going to thread that down one to two inches above the eye of the hook. Pull that tag in tight and now we're going to peg it. I'm going to show you how to do this first with the trout bead pegs. So we're going to choose our color. I'm going to use pink. I've got a pink colored egg. Take that peg, thread it through. All right, now that you've got it through, just pull that end, 
until that's tight and cut each tag end. There you have it, your bead's pegged. So now all that's left to do is to tie our tippet section here onto our leader. I already have a nine foot, 12 pound Rio salmon steelhead leader tied onto my fly line. So I'm simply gonna do a blood knot between my leader and my tippet. All right, now that we've got our tippet tied onto our leader with this blood knot, we're simply going to put a split shot or two right above the knot. I'm using water gremlins. We're going to just go ahead and crimp those on. And the amount of weight and the size of the split shots that you use is really just going to depend on what water you're fishing. Obviously, the faster the water, the deeper the hole, the more weight you're going to need. All right, so the last thing you need to do is put your strike indicator on and adjust for depth. All right, I also wanted to show you how to use a toothpick to peg these. It's the same way, just using a toothpick. So you're threading it through the bead, going back through to wrap that bead, threading it down one to two inches above the eye. Now we're gonna take our toothpick. We're gonna come in from the bottom Shove that toothpick as far as you can. Take your scissors. Cut the toothpick as flush as you can without cutting your line. And take the flat end of your scissors and just push that toothpick inside the bead. And that's it. So either way, trout bead pegs or toothpicks, they both work well. One thing I wanted to mention is that fishing these beads as a dropper works really well too. So for example, here I've got this big nasty black stone and I've got my bead as a dropper behind it. I did the same setup to tie that bead on. I simply tied the tag end of that tippet to the hook bend of my first fly. So in order to fish this, all I'm going to do is tie my leader right to that fly. So one of the reasons that fishing these beads as a dropper works really well is because this first fly, which is typically heavy, is actually sinking down and these beads, being neutral buoyant, actually stay higher in the water column. That really helps with that natural presentation as this is drifting down. So in summary, if you haven't tried fishing beads, I would highly suggest it. It's very effective and it's a lot of fun. So if you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll be glad to help. With that, I wish you the best of luck on the water.